I wrecked my airplane before it got in flight. It started up, it flipped over, and it caught the whole property on fire. Will it start? Will it start? <laughs> 100 years old. 100 year old airplane. Really chuckle. That's why the driver has to sit in the back seat. Saves one of us from having to tell our hand off. Clear up. I bought seven airplanes, sight unseen off Facebook Marketplace, for $100,000, and we've got five days to get them all going. They haven't ran in years, some of them decades. The little pup right there, that one was giving us a fit. We made a video about that. This Luscom also had some issues, but we did have a save the day moment on that. And Jesse is working on our Piper Cub, and that is the one I want to keep out of all seven of these. The goal is to sell six of them and hopefully get that one for free. But you don't know if they run or not, which brings us to this airplane. Now the original Jinnies, they were named for JN, were produced from 1915 to 1927, primarily for the Army to train its pilots. 95% of all the pilots in World War I started in one of these. Well, not this one, it's a smaller version, but the real one of one of these. So uh, let's, let's take a look, look around. Now I actually, uh, we did pull these off the last time I was here, but I didn't really check them. Dirty, where the wood's not split or anything like that. That's always a good sign. Okay. All right, okay. I mean, it's a propeller. Bicycle tires, a little flat. That's all right. The suspension. It's, it is just one bungee cord wrapped around a whole bunch of times. That is just a bungee cord. All right, yep, material on here. Good, flex. Push down, and it comes back, springs back, that's good. Does it keep a dimple? Yeah, that's okay, all right. Let's sneak around and take a closer look at what happens in the cockpit area there. That is the passenger in the front, and the driver is back here. He put another one of those tachometers on this thing, I think. I think that's what that is. Airspeed, ignition, it's even got a compass on this one. Check that out. Hold on a second. I see a starter button. What? Does this have a battery and stuff on it? I thought this was all hand prop like the other one. That changes the game on this bad boy. Let's take a peek under the hood on this one. Oh, okay. It's gotta come out. Look I'll be a dog gone. There is a battery on this one. This one has a starter. Fantastic. Two cycle, two stroke. This is a 503 Rotax, which means we got more BTUs in there. If it's anything like that pup, that fuel destroyed all the fuel lines and everything else. Okay, those fuel lines, flexible, nice. Let's find some jumper cables. Hey, Jesse. That biplane, that Jenny over there, mm -hmm. it's got a battery and a starter. Really? I thought it, they were all hand props. I thought they were too. Saves one of us from having to chop our hand off, off of you know, possibly, but so I gotta go find a battery. Got a battery! It's a rental. We bought the extra insurance, it's fine. It would be a good thing to check if it's seized up, it is not. So will it? Let me see, this rotates backwards. Oh, okay. Thump, thump, thump. That's good. That's good. How the heck are you supposed to get that thing out of there with that? Well, okay, we don't need to get that out of there. We just need that. I'm gonna get a good bite on this. Yes. This is always the most nervous part of this whole thing. Okay. Okay. 
no big sparks either that battery is dead or the connector is there starter oh my gosh no oh we got life <laughs> we got life check spark check fuel yeah yeah Oh, that's not bad. All right, that's not bad. And it's regular gas, not mixed, because you got the oil here that mixes in there for the cocktail that it needs. Okay, everything's clear of the prop. Sure. Well, pow, babe. Are you good? Yeah, send it. All right, clear prop. Eh? Hey. Nothing. Oh, sorry. Turn mags on. All right, ready? Ready. We got You're spark. Popping. Yeah, we got spark. Yeah! All right, Jesse. We got the sparkage. We got the battery turning the propage. It sounds like it has good compression. It does. Now, I did notice the fuel down here is plugged up with mud daubers. So I went and got our mud dauber remover kit 6000. Right there, that should that should work. I think he's all out. Hey, look at that! Nice. Fantastic. It smells fresh. What do you think? Like, right. we got air, we got spark. Now we have fuel. Well, here, yeah, about there. Yeah, we don't know if it's but, gone out there yet. I, I can't think of anything that'll go wrong. Exactly! What could possibly go wrong? Although I do see we're gonna have to air up some tires to bring a bicycle pump. No, you got good lungs. There you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit more. Boom! There we go, that's good, that's good. That's good. Scared. Oh. Hey! Dude. I mean. What's up, Shades? It worked. Heck yeah. Ow. Well, all right, go. Wow! And the oh no! Oh. It wrong. Good catch. No did pop it, strike. It didn't hit. <laughs> no, it didn't hit. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> and that was the part that wasn't on the camera. <laughs> what the heck? It's on one of our GoPros. Jeez! <laughs> well, pulling it out, we just about had a prop strike on that bad boy. Uh, yeah, so that's why the driver has to sit in the back seat. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> um, One that, finger. Don't uh, let yep. the stupid thing go up. All right. That's, that's One cool. finger. Holy crap. This is what I always imagined general aviation being. Where you had a barn, you had a simple airplane that you could pretty much build yourself, do whatever you wanted to. A little strip of grass. <laughs> Go fly around, enjoy the morning or the evening. This, to me, is the ideal general aviation, just barnstormer. Like that's, this is kind of where it all started, really. What are we doing, Jimmy? We're uh, getting some something to put in the back so the tail doesn't come up, because it just got most of the thing a minute ago. <laughs> Rather not talk about that. You can edit that from now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just walk you through what we got. We uh, found a pallet, found a couple of flat tires, found a half sack of old concrete and a rusty can. That's the extra weight that we need. And another old tire. And then we just took our rope, tied it down to the pallet underneath. Should be good to go. We got uh, fuel, 
We got spark. Sounds like it's got compression. We got our battery. Thank you to Hertz Rental right there. Hope they're not seeing this video. And uh, how many, how many cranks? Uh, how many revolutions of the prop? Five. How many cranks? Yeah, like how many? Do you think we'll five. get it? Five. All right, you're going. All right, five and five. Fair enough. I'm gonna go with one because that's a big battery and I can crank on it for quite some time. Oh, okay. <laughs> burned the starter out already. <laughs> no, I mean, it, it should go. And it's a two stroke, so we don't gotta worry about timing and all that other stuff. No, we're good. Um, so, all right. Screws. And if I'm honest with you, I'm not gonna wear my seatbelts in case I have to make a speedy exit. The executive decision to jump ship? Yeah, I am. Not the captain that will go down with this ship. You're on your own. Um, the only thing that's in front of this airplane is, yeah. So just in case, so I mean, there's a building there, but that no, you don't need to worry about that. All right. Well, connect us to power. I am off here, and mags are off. Okay. Good. Oh my gosh. Are you doing this design? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good and good. Um, I'm going to clear prop. You don't need to work. Yeah. That just slows you down. Yeah. Master is on. Mags are hot. There is a way. I mean, she's gonna run. She's gonna run. I can't tell. Can you, can you hit the uh, pep talk on the bottom and see if fuel's coming out of that again? Is it still coming out good? Yeah. Yeah, it's slow, but it's coming out. Oh, there you go. It's gonna do something now. It's really quiet. 
I'm just impressed with how quiet it is. Like, in. <laughs> no, we can talk to each other I'm telling you. And I'm not even, like, talking loud. That's crazy. You know what's funny is you go to the other side and it sounds like a two stroke. It sounds like a chainsaw. Yeah. Man. Ding, 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 ding. ding, ding, ding. <laughs> I felt like I was trying to start an old steel chainsaw. Wah, 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 wah. That's crazy. Okay, take it easy. Who wants to go? <laughs> That's so wild, man. still there yeah it blew away and the tail definitely lifted up yes uh <laughs> there was at one point where it started to go this way and i was like i'm gonna move um <laughs> that was wise all right mags are off that's off Damn, it's back in idle this is freaking awesome this thing runs stupid good yeah it's actually really scary how well it runs all right watch ready not gonna touch anything mags on clear to prop <laughs> <laughs> That's insane! I want to do it again. Ready? It's one blade! Yeah, literally. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely fantastic. I still don't have to get out of this. Yeah, well. You have so much fun in it, you don't want to get out of it. Yes! This is only one of the seven airplanes. Uh, so go and if you haven't already go watch those videos and see which ones do and don't start and there's a certain p51 mustang in there too you might want to hunt that one down ready to go fly it there you go what do you think jerry would say i say he did a good job on the tuning of it before uh he left this world. That's right. 
this adventure is just getting started. So they're already a day behind schedule and these airplanes haven't been started in decades. And sure, they are miles away from the parts they need. However, one thing about Jimmy and Jesse, they make things happen. Sometimes it's skill, sometimes it's blind luck, and sometimes it's a miracle. <laughs>